In this video, we will use a half-angle identity to determine the exact value of sine pi divided by eight radians, which is equal to sine 22.5 degrees. Looking at the half-angle identities below, sine a divided by two is equal to plus or minus the square root of the quantity one minus cosine a divided by two. We have a plus or minus sign here because we need to determine the sine of the trig function value based upon the given angle. Also notice how this two is under the square root. The first step is to find the value of a where a divided by two is equal to the given angle, which in our case is 22.5 degrees. Well, if we double this angle and divide by two, we will still have 22.5 degrees. 22.5 times two is 45, and therefore we write the sine of 22.5 degrees as the sine of 45 degrees divided by two. Notice in this form, we can easily see the angle A is 45 degrees. This is the angle we use on the right side of the identity. So applying the formula, we have the sine of 22.5 degrees, or the sine of 45 degrees divided by two is equal to, because 22.5 degrees is in the first quadrant, where all the trig function values are positive, we are going to have a positive square root Under the square root, we have one minus cosine a, which is one minus cosine 45 degrees, and all this is divided by two, where again, the two is under the square root. The next step is to find the value of cosine 45 degrees. In standard position, the terminal side intersects the unit circle at this point here, where both the x and y coordinates are the square root of two divided by two, and we know on the unit circle, cosine theta equals x, and sine theta equals y, the cosine of 45 degrees is square root two divided by two. So now we have the square root of one minus square root two divided by two all over two. So this is the exact trig function value of sine 22.5 degrees. But let's go ahead and simplify this by clearing this denominator of two from the numerator. To do this, we multiply the numerator and denominator of this complex fraction by two, which is equivalent to multiplying by one. This is equal to the square root of distributing the two here, we have two times one, which is two, and then we have minus two times square root two divided by two. We'll notice how the twos simplify out, giving us just square root two and therefore this product simplifies to two minus square root two. In the denominator, we still have two times two, which is four. For the next step, let's take the square root of the numerator and denominator. This is equal to the square root of two minus square root two divided by the square root of four. And the square root of four simplifies to two, which gives us the square root of two minus square root two all over two, or if we wanted to, we can think of having a one here and write this as one half times the square root of two minus square root two, which in our homework is the form that is requested. Before we go though, let's check this on the calculator. Let's compare the decimal approximation for the sine of 22.5 degrees and the decimal approximation for this exact value. The calculator is already in degree mode, so I will enter sine 22.5, close parenthesis, enter. And now we'll approximate this exact value, which is one half or one divided by two times the square root. Under the square root, we have two minus square root two, so two minus second x squared brings up the square root, two, and then enter. And notice how we do get the same decimal approximation verifying our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.